Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us for our Monday weather update, the outlook for this week and the start of the weekend. We've got two lows to track for Monday, the first one coming into New Zealand, the other one coming in towards Tasmania, but this is the main feature with a very powerful block of high pressure right next to it. And it's the combination of a low and high that makes the very strong winds, what we call a squash zone between the low and the high. And so that's what we're getting right now over Northland and Auckland, Eastern Waikato, Coromandel Peninsula, uh, and a number of other northern areas. So that system is moving into that high pressure zone, which is why it's windy, but also explains why it's very slow moving. So this isn't actually a storm, it's just an area of low pressure, but it has stormy conditions around the southern half of it. This one over here, not as bad, basically just brushing parts of Australia with a burst of northerlies, then southerlies, and a little bit of rain in there as well. But the main feature, like I say, over in the New Zealand area. So this is the rainfall map from the team at predictwind.com. Now they're showing the rain and the wind here. This goes for the next 24 hours as we move through across Monday, Monday evening, and now we move into Tuesday. So you can see that the system is very slow moving and it takes right through until the very end of Tuesday for it to move the main area of rain for it to move just offshore. And the low is still sitting in the same area, still out in the Tasman Sea, although it is moving in and it weakens as it does so. So thanks to Predict Wind for that map there. So the rainfall for the next two days looks like this. Heaviest rain around Bay of Plenty and also around Nelson. Those are the two areas where you could get up to 100 millimeters of rain. Bay of Plenty certainly in the uh, running for more rain than usual this month, which is a nice change after the last five years with below normal rainfall. So we're seeing a significant amount of rain in Bay of Plenty, enough rain in Nelson to cause maybe a few slips, a few road closures, or at least some problems because it doesn't take a lot of rain in the Nelson area to do that. And then the other area of concern, Canterbury. Of course, Canterbury just had some floods. Uh, the rainfall coming through, this is for two days, is up around 50 millimeters. So that is again, for some low-lying areas, that is enough to keep an eye on. So uh, the, more rain around the country for the next two days as that system comes through. So here we are on Tuesday. There is the low, still quite deep. Uh, it's getting a little bit deeper as it moves in, but it is also about to weaken. So deepens a wee bit, and then it starts to fall apart. The high moving away, the squash zone, which is here now, it shifts. Uh, that moves out to sea for the most part. Still a bit windy around the lower part of the South Island though. And uh, again, later in the day for the top of the country, a nor'wester comes through, which will be blustery, but the usual, you know, it's not going to be problematic. So you can see the rain, and most of it's moving out to sea. And the second front around Australia basically falls apart as it moves into Victoria and Tasmania. It does bring in a bit of a colder southerly, just coming through here for a time. Uh, and that's another thing about the New Zealand weather, not cold at the moment, pretty mild, subtropical winds coming down for a time. And then we've basically got a lot of northerlies or uh, Tasman Sea type temperatures coming through. Now as we move through the week, the low gets weaker but larger. So it just gets bigger and bigger. Um, I used this analogy the other day, it's like stretching the neck of your t-shirt so much that it breaks. That's basically what this is doing. It's, it's getting stretched out, falling apart, but windy westerly is blowing through uh, for you on Wednesday. So it'll be mild still for many places. And another area of low pressure coming out from Tasmania, otherwise, westerly winds are blowing through for you. And in fact, it's the westerly winds or west to southwest winds that really dominate as we go through to Thursday and coming into the weekend. So Thursday, still warm for the North Island, still got rain and showers. The South Island has a colder southerly coming through on Thursday. And on Friday, typical southwest front coming in. So we're back to normal by the end of the week. Windy westerlies for the top of the country means the North Island has a warmer than average week ahead. A lot of people wonder, you know, we said that this winter was going to be warmer than average in both islands uh, of New Zealand, that is. And uh, we had a few people who have written to us saying it's been really cold. But what you might not be factoring in is what's happening at nighttime. So instead of having a beautiful high pressure system over us with frosts, We've got windy westerlies and showers, and that can lift the overnight low by over 10 degrees. And that's probably the main reason we're seeing temperatures above average this winter, because we've got a lot more wind and cloud in the forecast, at least for the New Zealand area. High pressure over Australia though at the end of the week means it'll be pretty calm and cold at night, 
and fairly pleasant afternoons. Our final map is for Saturday. It shows high pressure coming out of Australia for the north of New Zealand. So by the uh, weekend coming up, Things are finally, you know, settling down for the North Island. Westerlies remain in the South Island, but it will be mild, or no, a bit a little bit careful with the words, but it won't be overly cold for Canterbury because you've got that westerly blowing through, although it will still be a bit colder than it's been. And certainly the West Coast and Southland, best candidates for wet weather. Australia, barely any rain falling for the next week ahead. Just those showers in the usual areas in the South there, but really most Northern areas and inland areas are looking mainly dry. That is all from me for today. Back again on Tuesday with our next update. Thanks for all the comments on YouTube and for all the support. We'll see you Tuesday.